Hey Spooky Gang, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for being here and happy Halloween Eve everybody. It is October 30th. I cannot believe Halloween is tomorrow. So if you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. We are going through my top Halloween candles from this year. So we do have a couple from last year that I did burn this year as well that I want to talk about. But we have a good amount of candles here that are new from 2023. So me and Jack, we are all dressed up. We're ready to do this video. Video. I got my Halloween sweater on that I got a Hot Topic. He has my Halloween sweatshirt on that we got from Etsy. So yes, we're super excited. We got the background lit up. We got Jack. He's lit up. I forgot to change his batteries. My bad, Jack. I'm so sorry. So yes, let's go ahead and jump into this video. I'm so excited to talk about candles. So yes, we love some candles, fragrance, home decor, and much more around here. So let's dive right in. Let's talk about one of my favorite Halloween candles from this year. And that is going to be from Goose Creek, you guys. So we have Goose Creek, we have Bath and Body Works, we have Home Works, we have Kringle Candles. So we have a good variety here. So Goose Creek Scooby Snack. Yes, this one had to hit the list, you guys. It's so, so good. I love my Scooby-Doo collection from Goose Creek. Oh, it's so good. It's such a good like sugary vanilla sugar crystal cookie. It's absolutely amazing. Mm, so, so good. So this was actually my very first ever Goose Creek candle that I burned. And I was just blown out of the water, you guys. I was so happy I bought the whole collection. I was so happy that I bought a backup of a Scooby Snack. So this is my backup. I cannot wait to burn this next year. Oh, absolutely delicious so yes they're so good uh it made me buy the candyland collection that's how good these scooby-doo candles were so super excited about that that's definitely one of my top favorites this year all right so let's just go ahead and finish out goose creek here so i did love the legend of the vampire you guys this one was so good love the purple label here the packaging is so cool we got scooby-doo the whole gang there in the mystery machine Oh, this one was so strong. Such a good, like, blackberry, whiny type of scent. Yeah, I think it had currant in it. But the blackberry in here is just so, so strong that I absolutely fell in love with this one. So Legend of the Vampire definitely had to make the list from the Scooby-Doo collection. And then the third one and the last one from the Goose Creek Scooby-Doo collection is Forbidden Forest. So yes, don't mind the little wax here. I had a little wax accident. If you guys uh, watched my candle review, I did have a little wax accident. Let's see what it's looking like here. Woohoo! Yeah, it's... It is like all messed up, you guys. So yeah, I'll have to uh, clean this one up one day. But there is Forbidden Forest. This one was so good. It was so woodsy and smoky and dark. So strong on cold. That's the one thing I was super shocked by was how strong these candles are on cold. So super excited. We will be continuing to burn Scooby-Doo next month. There is the, uh, I think it was Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns, Jack. Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns. We're definitely going to be uh, burning and reviewing that one next month. It's kind of like a pumpkin, muffin, spicy, cinnamon type of candle. So that one will definitely be burning next month. All right, so that's Goose Creek. Let's go ahead and go over Homeworks since I only have three of them here. So I just got into Homeworks uh, Halloween candles this year. So I have been purchasing some at uh, TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Home Goods, but so happy that I did find a couple here that uh, I really fell in love with. And I did place the order uh, last week for some Halloween candles and one of them did make the list. So the first one that I want to talk about here is Halloween candy. How can you not love some Halloween candy on Halloween Eve? Love the packaging. I love the black lid that we got on the Halloween collection. Oh, this one is absolutely delicious. It's vanilla, it's chocolate, it's coconut. It smells like a candy bar. So the scent notes on Halloween candy are chocolate bars, vanilla nougat, coconut, and cooked sugar. When I say this smells like a chocolate coconut candy bar, it's absolutely amazing. I am so glad that I picked this one up. You want to smell this one, Jack? It smells like Halloween candy. Yes, it's so good. 
Oh, I cannot wait to continue to burn this one next year. We have that orange wax. It's just absolutely amazing. So, so happy with this candle. I am so glad that I picked it up. So there is Halloween candy. And then we also have Black Magic. So I did find Black Magic at TJ Maxx, I believe. Love this packaging, you guys. All of those jack-o'-lanterns and that smoke. This one is so good as well. I love that vanilla in here, the licorice, the candy scent. So this one has the black wax on the inside. Perfect wick placement there. Go ahead and get that dust cover back on there. So this one has black licorice, anise, sponge sugar, and vanilla. That black licorice candy scent is so good in this one. And that vanilla just gives it like some creamy subtleness. And you definitely get that spun sugar. It has some sugariness to it. Yeah, it definitely has some sugariness to it with that spun sugar. So Black Magic was a good one. I did not get around to reviewing it, but hopefully next year we can review it. It's so, so good. Mm, Black Magic. Mm, love that licorice vanilla. It's so, so good. All right, the last one that we have here from Homeworks by Slacken and Company. So this one is from 2023, actually. So it is Witch's Spell. This one was, like, so good, you guys. I was so shocked by it. So I have not gotten around to uh, burning this one yet. But look at this, like, lavender purple wax. Where's the dust cover? I gotta get... Here it is. We gotta get this dust cover off. I love that they add the dust covers, though. So we have this, like, light lavender purple wax here. So beautiful. So this is like cinnamon, caramel apple. It's got some pear in it, giving it some extra fruitiness. It's so good. It smells like a fall cinnamon caramel apple with like some extra fruitiness to it. So the scent notes are black apple, autumn pear, cinnamon, and caramel. Oh, yes, this is up there with, like, one of the, like, caramel apple scents. Mmm, so, so good. Yes, I cannot wait to burn this one. I think I'm going to burn this one, actually, next month for November. So, even though these are Halloween candles, they got Halloween labels. I love these, like, caramel apple kind of, like, nutty scents for um, fall time in November. So, yeah, this one we might have to burn next month. All right, so that is it for the Homeworks candles. So let's go ahead and go over my favorite Bath & Body Works candles from this year. So let's just start off with some of the older ones here. This is going to be Wicked Apple. So, so glad that I picked up two of these at semi-annual sale. I love this label here. The packaging is gorgeous. So this one... Another good caramely apple scent. We have like this little spider web lid here. So this one is Ghostly Green Apple, Creepy Caramel Drizzle, and Vicious Vanilla Bean. Mmm, such a good, delicious, strong vanilla caramel apple. I just, I can't believe they have not brought this one back yet. Like, bring back your good scent, Bath & Body Works. These are the ones we are wanting, those good, mmm. You know those, like, apple caramel suckers? That's exactly what this smells like. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so something that I loved blending that with is the Spooky Cider Lane. Love this candle, you guys. I'm so glad I got a couple of these. Love this packaging as well. Another wraparound label. So this one had the skull lid here. Super, super cool. Mm, so this one kind of has the same vibe as Wicked Apple, but we got some bourbon in here. So the scent notes here on Spooky Cider Lane are... Bone Chilling Bourbon, Glazed Apples, Magical Maple Syrup, and Voodoo Vanilla. So we got that vanilla, we got that glazed apple, but then we're adding some maple syrup and some bourbon, giving it just some, some booziness and some more extra sugariness. Mmm, so, so good! Okay, so these two together, though, absolutely amazing. 10 out of 10. I did do a review on these candles. These are from last year, from 2022, and this one's from 2021, the Wicked Apple. But so glad I burned these, and I know a lot of people have these, and I'm telling you, burn these together next Halloween or next month. You're gonna love it.
Mm, so, so good. So there is Wicked Apple and Spooky Cider Lane. Love, love, love these Halloween candles. Please bring those back. Okay. The next one that we have here from Bath & Body Works is Gold Friend, you guys. So Gold Friend made the list for 2023. It shocked me. Guess what's not on the list? Vampire Blood. Vampire Blood did not make the list this year. I am shook, you guys. Vampire Blood, I'm usually team Vampire Blood every single year, but Ghoul Friend, they got it going on this year with Ghoul Friend. Look at this candle, you guys, all the way down to the bottom. So this one is Dark Strawberry, Ghostly Peony, and Spine Chilling Citrus. It's still strong. So it's just such a good strawberry, fruity, citrusy, floral. But when I say you get a good mix of that strawberry, that citrus, and that peony together, absolutely amazing. Yes, if they can keep this formula and repackage Ghoul Friend into this kind of wax and this formula every single year, they would have a top seller every single year, you guys. Ghoul Friend knocking it out of the park this year. So the next one that we have here from Bath & Body Works, this is kind of like one of their like Halloween traditional scents, and that is Pumpkin Carving. So yes, pumpkin carving made the list this year. I have to tell you, last year it would not have made any type of list. Just the scent notes alone and like that first sniff of it last, like I guess last year and two years ago when I started smelling this candle, I just got turned off immediately, but mm, I am burning it this year. That brown sugar note is so good. It mixes with that pumpkin seed. And we also have the freshly carved pumpkin. So it's just pumpkin on top of pumpkin with some spiciness. And it also has that smooth brown sugar, really giving it some smoothness and just some nice like brown sugar, sugariness. It's so, so good. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. So yeah, I will be burning pumpkin carving next month as well. Because going into November, it's still pumpkin season. So yes, Jack, you're going to have to stick around for at least November. So we'll have to see what we're going to do for December. You guys let me know if you have any suggestions. I know, Gene, you've already suggested something. So if you have any suggestions on what we're going to do with me and Jack for December, I kind of have a little like kind of idea, but I want to see if maybe if it fits him first. But I have a good idea for December. That way Jack can kind of stick around and have some more fun with us. I don't want Jack to go anywhere, but I want to make sure that he fits in and, you know, it doesn't, you know, just throw off the videos, but Jack has to stay around. So we got to figure it out. All right. So let's go ahead and get back to these candles here. So I also wanted to talk about the ghoul friend and the single wick, you guys. So yes, even the single wick was so, so good. <laughs> Strong, fruity, citrusy, floral. Yes, just as good as the three wick, which usually doesn't happen. The one wicks are usually a little lighter than the three wicks, but Ghoul Friend this year, the one wick, the uh, three wick, it doesn't matter. It was just absolutely amazing. Please bring out Ghoul Friend and Body Care next year. I think that would be so, so good. All right, we have two more candles here from Bath & Body Works. So the first one that I want to talk about is Moonlit Graveyard. Yes, loved Moonlit Graveyard this year. The packaging is stunning. Look at that, like, horse there. He is riding the carriage. Just absolutely stunning with the packaging. We do have the Oreo lid here, as everyone likes to call it this year, the Oreo lid. When I say like this one is such a good smoky, earthy, eerie incense, like I'm usually not a fan of that, but yeah, they definitely did their thing with Moonlit Graveyard this year. I mean, even the soap, the pocket back, like everything was so good. Just that really strong smoky incense and it was just so, so good. Yeah, that's why I loved this candle because it kind of took me out of my comfort zone as well. Because I usually go with like the foodies and the vanilla, the berries and that kind of scent. But definitely so glad that I went out of my comfort zone and I tried Moonlit Graveyard this year. So, so good. And then another one that was so good that I was surprised by and that's Midnight Spell, you guys. Midnight Spell was definitely a good one. We do have the snake lid here. 
Definitely gonna keep this lid forever. It's so cool. Like I could definitely repurpose this multiple times. We do have like this kind of like purpley-ish kind of wax on the inside here. So Midnight Spell is Mystic Air, Moonlit Woods, and Crystal Amber. It's airy. You get that amber. It's warm. It has a hint of like this like woodsy smokiness. I have to say, not as masculine as the body care this year, but it still has, like, that unisex, like, masculine vibe to it. Yeah, I fell in love with Midnight Spell. The body care was, like, a 10 out of 10. This was, like, my favorite body care out of the Halloween lineup this year. So the candle is just as good. Love this, like, black jar here. It's so cool. It's so, like, smoky looking. Yeah, you just can't go wrong with Midnight Spell, in my opinion. Yes, we love that, like, see, I'm not usually a huge fan, it's so good, we, I'm not a huge fan of, like, those, like, manly scents sometimes, but hopefully they bring back a Midnight Spell again, I know a lot of people said that they didn't have a good throw on their candles, but my candles are throwing pretty good, so, uh, yeah, Midnight Spell is definitely a favorite of mine, okay, I think that is it for Bath and Body Works, so let's go ahead and move on to my Kringle Candles, so we have five candles here, and out of this five, I have my favorite Halloween candle from this year. So comment down below while we're going through these four. Uh, let me know what you guys think my favorite Halloween candle is this year, and I will go ahead and reveal that at the end of the video. So the first one that we have here is Graveyard Night. This one was so good. I was shocked. So when I seen Graveyard Night and I seen the jack-o'-lantern, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like this. Mmm, delicious. So when I lit this up in my living room, it just covered the whole living room and the hallway with like this beautiful and just this awesome foodie gourmand type of like sweetness. Oh, it's creamy, it's fluffy, it has some caramel in it. Wow, wow, wow. That's all I can say about Graveyard at Night is just wow, wow, wow. I really hope to uh, pick this up again next year. And I can't believe that this is still in stock this year because this is such a good caramely, gourmand, foodie-esque type of candle. Like, how is this not sold out? It's so good, Jack. Mm, absolutely delicious and you know we're a fan of our jack-o'-lanterns around here so that one definitely had to make the list all right the next one on the list here for my favorites for this year is it's evil so this is from kringle candle that has kind of like that it kind of theme love the scary movie it it's so good ah oh, this one is so delicious you guys so i have not gotten around to burning this one yet but <sighs> this one has that caramel has almond, it has vanilla, it has some nuttiness, some creaminess. It has some spice. You can definitely smell some pastry. Oh, I just love my foodie candles. So this one is definitely a foodie candle. It has pastry, spice, butter, caramel, almond, and vanilla. Absolutely delicious. I cannot wait to burn this one. Mm, yeah, this one might have to make the list for November as well to be able to be burned because it's so good. So hopefully they bring back this one too next year. And that's the thing about Kringle Candle. This is my first year buying them, so I don't know what they're going to bring back. I don't know if they're going to bring back these like scary movie themed labels. So we'll have to see what happens next year. Uh, definitely loved picking up almost the whole collection this year. All right, the next one that we have here is Sinister. So yes, Sinister made the favorite list this year. Oh, let me get the... Ugh. Mmm, cinnamon, nutmeg. It smells like fall. It has vanilla. A little muskiness. It got some coconut in there. Get a hint of like some cranberries. And it's definitely got a warmth vibe with that like amber note. So Sinister, super, super good. Yeah, I might have to burn this one next month too. There's so many Halloween candles that I want to continue burning because they're just that good, you guys. 
So this one didn't throw like crazy, crazy, but love, love, love this candle on cold. And yeah, I'm definitely so glad that I purchased it. Love these black jars here for Halloween at Kringle Candle. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we have another one here, Sleepy Hollow. I've always wanted this packaging and this candle. So this one also might be going into November because it also has pumpkin spice. It has some smokiness to it, some wooziness. It has some caramel in it as well. Yeah, the, like right off the bat, you get that cedar wood, you get that incense, you get that clove. And you get some sweetness from that caramel. You get the pumpkin spice, making it feel like fall. Mmm, so good. So I've only burned this one, like, think one time. So I'm super excited to get back to burning this one. And I know this one's, like, super popular and, like, sought after every single year. So there is Sleepy Hollow. So glad I got my hands on it. You want to smell some pumpkin spice? Mmm, it's so good. Okay, so there is Sleepy Hollow. Definitely had to make the favorite list this year. I do have a little messed up label there, but that is okay. We do not fret on the little things. All right, you guys ready for the last candle here? This is my favorite candle from Halloween 2023. Okay, so this candle blew me out of the water. Like, I already had like two more in my cart. I never placed another order, but I instantly threw two more of these in my cart. It's honey, it's vanilla, it's caramel, it's almond. It is candy corn. Oh, every time I open this, like right now, I just want to do it right now. I cannot stop smelling this candle. Like I don't even have to burn it. All I have to do is smell it. And I'm so happy. Oh, you know those candles that like when you smell, it just puts like a smile on your face and it changes your whole mood. Yes, Pink Prosecco Frosting does that. Hot Cocoa and Cream does that. And candy corn now does that for me oh my goodness you guys candy corn oh, i can't say enough how much i love 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 this candle i'm definitely purchasing some more next year all right you guys ready for the scent notes rich caramel golden honey butter sweet praline nutmeg cinnamon Creamy vanilla and toasted almond. Come on. Not a single one of those scent notes does not need to be in here. All of those need to be in here. They're all so delicious. I gotta tell you that that nuttiness, the vanilla, the sweetness, the, the honey, the butter has to be probably like might be my favorite candle of all time. I know there's a lot of them up there that could be really good contenders, but I don't know, you guys. Candy Corn, I think it's my favorite candle of all time. Oh, okay, okay. I got to stop. I got to put it down because I'm just going to smell it all night and you guys are going to see me smelling a candle for an hour and that that's not going to be a good video, so... Candy Corn, my top Halloween candle this year. I cannot wait to pick up more next year. If you guys are like a foodie, gourmand type of lover, you have to try Candy Corn. And if you don't like it, I'm so sorry, but I don't think you won't like it. I think you're going to love it. So thank you guys so much for joining me and Jack on Halloween Eve. We're going through my favorite Halloween candles. That was so much fun. And I'm going to pick up Candy Corn one more time. Oh, I don't know. I might have to keep this one on my bedside and just smell it all year long. That's how good it is. So thank you guys so much for being here and joining us here on Halloween Eve. I hope you guys have a great night tonight. So we do have a Halloween finale tomorrow. We will be doing my apartment tour. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed my scary movie list earlier today. Really hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll have that linked at the end of the video if you haven't seen that yet. But thank you guys so much for joining me and Jack for October. We cannot wait for tomorrow to do our apartment tour. So yeah, we're ready for October. We're ready for the Halloween tour. And we are ready to move into some fall and some November content. So thank you guys so, so much for being here. We really appreciate it. And we will see you in the next one.
Have a good night. Happy October. Happy Halloween Eve.